And we continue in Peru. Our correspondent, Brian Mora, will tell us of another protest linked to the mining sector. Tuesday marked the beginning of a national strike organized by the Federation of Mining, Steel and Metal Workers who are protesting against a series of labor legislations and executive decrees cutting their rights at work. One of the measures allows for 10% of workers to be fired when the company reports losses. At work, they are starting to fire the workers, saying that the company is losing money. They are saying that they don't have earnings and they are harassing people with threats of firing them. That is why we are here fighting. Other issues cited by the striking workers are a law that facilitates subcontracting of workers instead of hiring them as full-time payroll workers, and legislation that allows companies to pay 20% of their salaries as bonuses, avoiding in that manner to pay for benefits. For the first day of the strike, workers march to Congress, but stop at the Ministry of Work to attempt to deliver their list of demands. We are here because of a negative answer from the government to attend to the workers' complaints. We presented a claim a year ago, but we have not been received by the government. So the workers have lost trust in the Minister of Work and the government because they are not paying attention to us. You have been witness of how they are operating behind closed doors. We have come to leave a document, but the Minister of Work is hiding. The strike does not have an ending day schedule. Organizers say they will stop protesting when the government concedes to their demands. Not all workers from those sectors have joined the strike, but their overall impact might be significant since 65% of the Peruvian economy is dependent on primary exports such as copper, zinc, silver and gold. Rafael Mora, Telesur, Lima.